Hey, how's it going everyone? Slay here, bringing you a video about my road to rank 1 in the new MMR uh, rank and grade system. So I kind of want to share the pros and cons of what I think the new system is bringing to the game of Dead by Daylight. And uh, I'll give you my opinion on whether I feel like it should be in the game or not. Um, I've had multiple discussions with people on forums and other community pages uh, about the recent changes that they implemented in the game. Um, so we'll start off with my, my road to rank 1 uh, and what killer I decided to use. So for the most part, I decided to use the nurse. Um, I started using the nurse about probably around the silver ranks. Uh, just because in the beginning I wanted to kind of mess around, fumble around with some killers and, and know... Knowing that I had a tough games ahead of me, I wanted to make sure that you know I got my fun out of my way uh, in the beginning. Uh, due to me being a competitive person, I wanted to reach rank one very quickly, and I wanted to see how quick I could do it. Um, took me about I want to say five days. Um, so it's yeah about five days to get to rank one, um, and. That's not like five game or five days played. That's just five days in general. It took me about six hours to get from rank three iridescent to rank one iridescent. By the way, um, so anyway, I was playing the nurse. I did it kind of differently. I wanted to kind of experiment a little bit, and I won about eleven to twelve games in a row on the nurse, and games started getting extremely hard. Um, survivor teams were just blowing gens away and i want to say i have a video actually that i put out um i had and i actually won this one but it was it was a usual occurrence in most of these games so luckily in the video that i made i had a three gen so it kept me alive but ruin was gone within like two minutes um after a while certain mmr your ruin is just gone and I hate to say it, but there's no other way to play if you want to win the game. Um, I was running Ruin, Undying, Surveillance, and Tinker uh, on my nurse. Honestly, there's just no other way to win the game at the at the higher MMR. Um, other than this video that you're watching right now is a fluke. This was just supposed to be a fun game that I had played. Because uh, I just reached rank 3 iridescent. And uh, I ended up actually winning this game. This, this is not a usual game, trust me. Um, it, I don't know what happened. So anyway, <laughs> back what, to what I was saying in the video. So I had a 3-gen, Ruin was gone, and I luckily won that game. So anyway, as my MMR got higher and the games, you know, I was winning every game one after the other. And yes, I'm playing the best killer in the game. Let's, you know, let's be honest here. Um, I ran into the same team three times, and they killed me all three times. Um, and it did not feel good. It was stressful. I mean, they were fast games. It was probably the most stress I've ever had playing this game, you know, and that to me is a con. Um, I've talked to some casual players. I, I count myself as, you know, being a competitive, non-casual player. Uh, even though I only have like 450 hours in this game, I pick this game up really fast. I play a lot of PC games and I see myself as a, a higher uh, competitive player when it comes to killer and trust me I play both sides I play killer and survivor so I'm not you know I'm not one-sided I, I do you know I'll give my opinion on the survivor side but I do feel uh, I, I can give a fair opinion or assessment so back to the stress of the game um, as a killer it's it's very stressful but as a survivor on the other hand at high MMR uh, not that I'm there yet uh, I feel like it's a lot less stressed. It's a lot easier. Um, I feel like, in my opinion, that the game is more survivor-oriented. Uh, it's it's more in favor of the survivor. And then they're going to add things like the boon totem, you know, things for killers to do. Well, right now, the in my opinion, the killers are overwhelmed as it is. If you've got three gens popping in two minutes, you can say, oh, yeah, well, you need to run corrupt intervention. Well, doesn't that take away from... The other perks in the game like is is that really what we're trying to do here is run one certain build i mean the the one time that the game got stress-free for me is when i reached rank one you know and you could say yeah five days or however many hours played 
you know, you could deal with that stress to get to rank one or whatever. And people are like saying, oh, it's easy. You know, you you reach rank one so fast. It's easy. It's really not. It's not that easy because, you know, you can't deep hip still. People are like, well, you can't deep hip as much and, and whatnot. You can't go down that bad. Well, imagine being high MMR. You're rank four iridescent, right? You're just getting into, hey, I just got my red ranks, whatever. Imagine winning one game. You know, you're not at high MMR. You're not most of the time as a killer two pipping. So you're one pipping if if you're winning the game. And then you're losing the next game. And then you're winning. You'll get lucky and two pip every once in a while. But most of the time it's tit for tat back and forth. You're winning one game. You're losing one game. Most actually you you could honestly say that you're losing more uh depending on who you are because like i said i ran into a team three times and uh every, all three times they they just destroyed me right so i lost three in a row and then i pretty much went back to no pip rank two and this took me six hours just to get from rank two to rank one so uh it was definitely more stressful um, so anyway, that is definitely a con within the game. That's my opinion. Like I said, if you have any comments or anything, please leave leave your comments and, and join this discussion because I really want to know if people are having fun with the new system. Um, I mean, now I'm having fun, uh, but here's here's an example. So my wife is a casual player. She uh, she plays casually, but what she has run into is people are red rank killers already you know she ran into a rank four killer the other day or yesterday i think and what that killer did i'm assuming by the way he was playing is she's a casual player right she doesn't have very much very many hours in the game and people are de-ranking losing games on purpose and they're not doing what i did which was try your best really really hard to get to rank one i didn't want to de-rank at times uh, because i feel like i didn't really get to that rank so she ended up stopped playing the game. She's like, I hate it. I don't like doing this. So a lot of players are deranking, and that's another con. Like that's not fun for the people just starting this game. You know, if you're picking up a game, you're going against a killer that's just vicious, crazy, using the best perks, thinking it's funny to beat up on brand new players. Does that really hold retention in the game and make it fun for players in the game uh, to stick around and want to keep playing? And let's remember, I'm playing the the best killer in the game. I'm playing the nurse. Can you imagine playing the pig? And this leads to my next discussion. So as you get higher MMR, the survivors are getting more cocky, they're getting more conceited, or they're getting more confident, whatever the case may be. Um, but in all cases, I feel like they're being more toxic. Um, at high MMR, I've got more more survivors teabagging. I've got more survivors at the end of the at the end of the game dropping a pallet and then just kind of like sliding over and making that annoying noise of the killer wanting you to come to the gate, you know, so that they can get more points or whatever the case may be. Wanting you to come to the gate and just stand there, you know. And so that's another thing. Like they're just standing there until the timer runs out, and you're like, man, I'm done with this game. I'm just gonna walk away from the computer. So what I feel like has, you know, has developed now in the game of Dead by Daylight is I feel like the community itself has gotten more toxic um, because survivors who are winning think it's funny and whatever to mock or, you know, say whatever they want to say in the end game chat to these other uh to these killers that they're going up against like oh how are you you know how are you a red rank and you getting getting three gen in two minutes well it's easy honestly four of you separate i can't find all of you you know especially on like the big maps if you're playing a big map you know you don't always have <laughs> blink charges or anything like that a nurse but can you imagine playing like i said pig and playing on the biggest map and you're you know you're trying to get to rank one on your pig and you you just can't enjoy it and so that takes away from being able to play um certain killers that you want to play so there's mains out there i've done i'm very curious to see what's going to happen in the next uh week or so i want to kind of see people's feedback i'm going to be looking at videos and and seeing what they're saying 
um, for for the killers that that aren't nurses and spirits and blights and stuff like that. Um, I I really do think we need to have a discussion as a community, which is what I've already been doing. Uh, a lot of other killers that I talk to are saying that survivors are being extremely toxic. It's just, you know, and then, you know, if you don't play nice and they you end up winning, they're like, oh, well, you tunneled, you did this, you do that. And they just say you tunneled, but they don't know the true definition of tunneling. It's kind of funny. Uh, tunneling is, you know, again, once someone gets off a hook, you go and chase them and chase them and chase them. Uh, but on the other hand, as a high rank killer, sometimes that's all you have to do. That's all to, to be able to slow the game down, right? And then people get mad at you for slugging and, and whatever. Um, believe it or not, but I actually made it to rank one without camping or anything like that because there's just no point. If you sit there and camp, the, the higher groups are, you know, they're they're better. They, they'll ignore your camping. They'll do all the gens and then they'll come save their friend within a minute or whatever. So, you know, it, just, it doesn't work at that high of MR. I think I've literally capped out on MMR. So anyway. Alright, so let's talk about it on the survivor side. Um I really want to get more people's input on the survivor side. Um I have played Survivor and whatnot, but I'm not high enough ranked to really uh at the moment because I went full killer this time around. I'm not high enough ranked to give an opinion on the MMR as a survivor. So I kinda want to get a feeling for what you guys are going through. Uh when you when you play your survivor and what are the killers doing you know and how it feels it, it does it feel like you want to play the game because i know my you know like i said my wife she just doesn't want to play the game anymore um it just it just it's not fun for her so what i want to know is if you're enjoying the game and what competitive state do you feel like you're at are you at high mmr are you at middle mmr are you at low mmr are you you know so if, if you could, you know, let us know or let me know, excuse me, let me know whether you're enjoying the game and what, what level of competition you're doing. Because uh, at times it was, I mean, I, I couldn't, people say it's sweaty and it really is. You're, you're sweating bullets trying to, as a killer, to get rid of these survivor teams. But um, I also want to know what perks you're playing with. Are you playing with... The perk setup that you want to play with? Are you playing with the perk setup that you think is meta? So decisive strike, you've got dead hard, you've got, you know, sprint burst, all these things that these survivors are using um, to to win the game. And then on the other hand, you have killers using meta perks as well. So if you're a killer, I want to know, you know, can you win a game without these meta perks? Can you win a game without corrupt intervention with slowing the the game down or whatnot especially based off of what we know about mmr it within the first 10 minutes of being able to not have your gens popped you know are you are you able to win after the first two minutes of using corrupt intervention and then again back on the survivor side are you enjoying going against the same meta perks every game just like killer i get so pissed off when i'm playing against four dead hearts four adrenalines or four unbreakables i can't imagine what survivor feels like when you're playing against you know rune undying uh corrupt intervention these these meta perks it does a does a game feel even fun anymore at that point so here's my overall uh opinion on this matter and maybe how to fix it um i feel like if you're gonna have mmr in the game you need to have a secondary type of gameplay you need to have a mode where you can just kind of go in casually and what we call unranked killer mode or unranked survivor mode. You'll still keep your, your grade or your rank or whatever you're called just by, you know, showing up to the game and says, oh, okay, this guy in ranked is, he's a red rank or whatever. But, you know, just kind of have both systems, honestly. So why don't we do one MMR system where it's competitive and you have a leaderboard uh, for those people who want MMR, and then for the people who don't want MMR, why don't you have the old system in the game too, and make it a secondary gameplay to be able to play whenever and however they want, you know, where they can just kind of match up to people on their similar levels, just like the last system. I don't see why not, why we can't have both, you know, in certain games like uh, World of Warcraft, 
you know, you have both. You have a casual mode and then you have an MMR mode. You know, you can go into what's called PvP, person versus person, in a regular battleground against other people. Or you can go into a ranked version against other people. So, you know, why can't we have both? I think by doing that, that the uh, the game would be much more healthier. Um, but anyway, I'm going to conclude this video. I really enjoyed making this video and uh, hopefully getting this discussion started. I, I seriously really want to hear... Uh, everyone's opinion and how their experience is so far so that maybe if we need to make a change as a community we can kind of bring it up to behavior and get it to in the right hands and let you know let these guys know hey this is how we feel about the game and maybe make these necessary changes thank you for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video